And welcome back to You Decide Southern California 2014, where we question the candidates about the issues you care about. And back with us on the hot seat is Republican gubernatorial candidate Neil Kashkari. Let me correct myself, Kashkari. <laughs> and Brian, you have the first question. <laughs> at least you didn't mispronounce my last name because then I would have been really mad at you. Uh, Neil, so one of the biggest issues to voters in all of California, but particularly Southern California, is education. I hear it on the campaign trail when I'm talking. I hear it to our readers at the register. I hear it from viewers uh, of Fox 11. You know, education reform, where do you stand on that? And what differentiates you from Governor Brown, who claims to be an education reformer himself? Yeah, education is critical. You know, my dad wasn't governor. I grew up middle class. My parents were immigrants. I got a good education, and that made all the difference in my life. Our schools in California are ranked 46th out of 50 states. Millions of kids are having their futures robbed. You know, there was this critical court case called Vergara, which the courts ruled that the civil rights of poor California kids are being violated by our failing schools. Jerry Brown had a choice between fighting for the civil rights of poor kids or fighting for the union bosses that have funded his political career, he had the audacity to turn his back on the poor kids of California and fight on behalf of the unions. He should be ashamed of himself. If I'm governor, I'm going to fight for the poor kids of California to make sure they get a good education every day of my governorship. And, because, and, and just specifically, what did Vergara do in, in your estimation? Yeah. So Vergara ruled that the teacher tenure laws that prevent the handful of bad teachers from being fired said that that was unconstitutional because what they end up doing is transferring them to the poor district. So the poor kids in the poor neighborhood have a lot of bad teachers in the result. And that's not fair. Gotcha. So, so okay, Vergara, you guys have differences in opinion. What specifically would you do differently in terms of advocating for education policy as governor of California? I'm going to use every power in my office. So my plan is this. We spend $50 billion on K-12, through and about half of that money actually gets into the classroom, especially the big districts like LA Unified. They've got thousands and thousands of administrators not actually teaching. I want to send the money right to the schools so the parents and the teachers have control over the money and they have the freedom to innovate and to really focus on how we educate our kids. I want to let them bring vocational training back if they, want to, if they decide that's what's best for their kids. Mr. Kashkari, let's talk about TARP. Uh, that, that is a huge uh, issue. That is the corporate bailout program that uh, took place uh, during the Great Recession where uh, three quarters of a trillion dollars, $700 billion went to corporations to keep them afloat. Uh, during that time. A lot of people thought that was not a good idea, particularly since hundreds of millions of dollars, perhaps even more, went to bonuses for corporate executives who basically had taken their companies down the tubes along with our economy. You oversaw that program. You were critical in administering that program. Do you think it was a good idea? Look, we hated that we had to do it. I was angry about it. We wanted to let all those banks fail because they deserve to fail. But you know what happened? Both President Bush and President Obama said, no, we have to step in and stabilize the American economy. And both President Bush and President Obama asked me to help lead the response. I'm proud that I work for both a Democrat and Republican president. We stabilized the economy. Then you know what we did? We got every dollar back for the taxpayers and even made a $13 billion profit for the American people. We can do big things if we get people to work together and we can protect the taxpayers. But I've does done it, it send the wrong message to corporate America that, you know what, if you mess up, if you make bad decisions, if you're greedy and you take the economy down the tubes with your corporation, it's okay because if the politicians think that you're too big to fail, we'll just save you with our taxpayer dollars. No, you're absolutely right. That's why we hated it. We didn't want to do it. It's like a, somebody's house burns on fire because they smoke in bed. You want to let their house burn down to teach them a message. But you can't do it because if one person's house burns down, the whole neighborhood might burn down. So you have no choice. You've got to send in the fire department to put out the fire. Why did you guys keep those executives from getting bonuses? Well, why didn't you ask for that money back? We did. And you know what we got? A 13, we got every dollar back and even made a $13 billion profit for the American people. Think about another program in American history that's turned a profit for the taxpayers. I bet you can't name one. And I did it for two presidents, sir. Would you support, would you support similar uh, types of policies, though, as governor of California? No, I mean, of course that's not. A, you know. Absolutely not. Look, what I want to do is bring good jobs back to California so that California workers can work. So that when Tesla makes a decision where they want to invest, that they want to invest in California. Because if we put working families back to work, our budget's going to be stronger. Our communities are going to be stronger. We're all going to be better off. So my priority is let's rebuild the middle class, a good education for every kid and good jobs for every family. Well, one of the things that uh, a lot of the companies uh, here in California say is that they're overregulated, not just overtaxed, but overregulated. What would you do specifically about that? How could you do anything about that? I have a plan that every regulation automatically expires after 10 years 
unless this independent body votes to keep it. The idea is this. Let's let the old obsolete regulations fall away. Let's keep the ones that are useful and working, and let's modernize our regulatory system so we have smart regulations over time. We don't have to chuck all regulations, but we need to be smart about it, and I've got a specific plan to do that. One big issue that you've been getting some flack on social media for over the last couple of days is gun control, and there's a few gun control bills that have been on Governor Brown's desk, and, and a couple of people on Twitter kind of attacked you and said, what are you going to do? Why aren't you responding? What's your position on gun control, and what would you do with the gun control uh, bills that are on uh, the governor's desk now? You know, we don't need more and more gun laws layering on response gun owners. All of us are horrified by the tragedies in our schools. But you know what Jerry Brown has done? There's a kid in Sacramento, Folsom College, where they caught him. He wanted to massacre his classmates. People raised alarm bells, the police investigated, they caught him. That's the good news. They prevented a tragedy. Jerry Brown has designated this young man to be non-dangerous, non-violent, non-threatening. He's sitting in a county jail on track for early release next year. You know what I'm going to do to keep our kids safe? I'm going to keep dangerous people locked up. I'm going to keep guns out of their hands. All right, this is the point in the segment where you get 30 seconds to make your case. Anything that perhaps Brian and I did not cover uh, in the Q&A or just anything that you want to uh, say to, to state your case about your candidacy. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you very much. I'm running for governor to rebuild the middle class of California. My question for you is simple. Is your family back? Are your kids in good schools today? Do you have the job that you want today? I'm running for governor to fight for your children to make sure they get a good education, to make sure you get that job that you want. My dad wasn't governor. I grew up middle class. My parents were immigrants. But I got a good education. That opened every door of our great country to me. This is a great, great country, a great state. We can rebuild the middle class if we work together. I'm asking for your vote. Thank you very much. Mr. Kashkari, thank you very much for coming onto the show and onto the hot seat. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. And when we come back, our next hot seat guest is going to be Lisa Bartlett, mayor of Dana Point, a candidate for the 5th District of the Orange County Board of Supervisors. We'll be right back.